my biggest strength is probably um, the fact that I can usually work pretty well with others. I, I work well, I get along with everybody. Um, I'm patient, um, kind of a perfectionist at times, and I guess that can be a gift and a curse, but I would say the fact that I can mesh well with others, you know, everybody has their own agenda. So in order for everything to flow properly, it is imperative that you communicate well. You know what, I have absolutely no idea why cake, but ever since I was a little girl, I've loved cakes, not necessarily to eat them. I'm not a really big sweet person. I don't have a really big sweet tooth, but I love preparing cakes. It is such a calming art form, for me anyway. I, I just, I love the entire lifestyle, I guess that cake decorating and pastry arts gives. Um, I can remember being a little girl and asking my mother to buy me these, they're actually called Wilton books. They're, um, what they are are like these books that um, have these elaborate cakes. Like some of them are wedding cakes and some of them are just like, um, birthdays and just different occasion cakes but they're in this little book and they're showcased and they have like a yearbook every year they come out with something new so I used to ask my mother I might have been five or six years old to buy me these books and she never really understood why why do you want a book full of cakes I don't know why it always interests me then and I still love it now so cake is what I do that's what I love Initially, when I went to college, I went to college for um, psychology to basically get a job in the mental health sector. Um, I landed the job, you know, completed school, and um, while there, I mean, I, I enjoyed what I did, but um, it was weird. We had a, our company had a really big bake sale, um, and a guy came and bought every item that I made. And I, it, was, it was weird to me that one person would buy up all that stuff. So later on in the day, he came back and he asked to speak to whoever baked all those, those goods. So in talking to him, he was like, you know, look, I don't know you, you don't know me, but I honestly feel like you are missing your calling if you don't pursue this. So for me, that was like a huge, huge sign. I was just, I mean, at first it was like, mm, yeah, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> but yeah, it was <laughs> after I thought about it and, you know, kind of thought about myself and reevaluated some things, I left that job and I came to AI. The Art Institute has laid a very, very sturdy foundation for me as far as my career and my career goals. Um, I've learned a lot of things that I would not have gotten, I believe, out in the field and just working with cakes. I've learned so many different genres of baking, period, which I just don't believe that I would have been exposed to had I just decided, hey, I'm going to go work in a bakery or I'm just going to go work in a cake shop. I learned so many different things here. so. Yes, it's been a great experience for me. I like a kitchen where it varies. Some days you have your days where it's calmer and other days you have to deal with the hustle and bustle. I like a little bit of both. I don't know that I would be comfortable with just sitting, I guess, dormant <laughs> for a while. Or if I, I don't think that I would be able to continuously keep up if I had to be in a very busy kitchen day in and day out. So I like the fact that there's that variety, you know, where, where you can switch up. We had a class called Show Pieces, and the Show Pieces class, that's basically what we emphasized on these really elaborate uh, sculptures. Um, and they were all edible. Now, most people wouldn't generally eat them, but I mean, they could be consumed, you know, and it was, for me, that was like beautiful. You know, 
I had no idea that you could produce a sculpture from sugar or from something edible, you know. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I would consider it an art form. I did a, um, a wedding cake recently and it took me several hours to construct these little gum paste figures. I did everybody in the wedding party. And <laughs> to watch the bride and groom just bite the heads off of my figures <laughs> was absolutely painful. <laughs> but, but I was happy, you know, that they enjoyed it. But I was just like, oh gosh. <laughs> For me, my biggest success so far is just being in my element. Not to say that, you know, initially I was like way off base, but it, I, I just always had a void when it came to what I was doing before the profession. So the fact that I am now able to completely express myself in this type of way, you know, in artistic fashion is huge for me. That to me so far, that is my just being able to completely and wholeheartedly express myself through art. I mean it was I wanted to, you know, reach out to people and be able to help them, but this is a way to help people in such a positive way. You know, not to say that that wasn't positive, you know, because Obviously, you're helping people or trying to help people piece their lives back together, but this is so different. It, it is so, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it other than just, um, at first, like I said, it was, it was terribly scary. Um, you know, how am I gonna work? You know, how am I gonna be able to meet my, my bills? How am I gonna just completely throw away everything that I've been for the past seven years. You know, how do you just let all of that go and start something new? But I mean, like with anything, change takes time. And I mean, looking back on it now, I'm glad that I made the decision. I'm a thousand times happier and more at ease or at peace with myself and my decision now than I probably ever would have been. I mean, I, it, it was just a very extreme life altering change for me. <laughs> but I'm so, I have no regrets at all. I'm so happy I made that change. For certain people, it is easy to express yourself verbally or even through writing. But for other people, it is much easier to express yourself in a painting or a really nice drawing or in something artistic. Um, with that being said, with sugar art and the cake decorating and even chocolates, it was just a whole new avenue, a whole different way to show the world who I am, you know, and in doing so, I learned things about myself that I didn't even know existed. So it is a true self-transformation, but I mean, it, I, I enjoy it. I'm enjoying the ride. <laughs> I, I absolutely do love it. So, I mean, I don't know, I don't know why I'm an artist, but I would consider myself an artist because, I mean, it's just easier for me to express myself through art. For me, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's just, it, it is so deeply rooted in who I am and what I aspire to become. It, it, I mean, it completely engrosses my entire being. It's just a part of me that I just never knew existed. So it, absolutely, it is an entire lifestyle. I wake up thinking about cakes and I go to sleep thinking about cakes.
That's a wrap.